Here we are at Coppola's on the Upper East Side. Kevin from The Circle is now a three-peat guest. Uh, one thing about Coppola is we don't have the great stuff that we have at Steiner Sports. We don't got the swish and addition ball. You can't be holding a LeBron ball, but we do have LeBron balls in stock. We do have Durantula sure balls do. in stock. We got all that great stuff at Steiner Sports. You're a guest for the third time, and I know you're here for one reason only, and that's because I have to eat a little bit of crow. <laughs> Yes, man. I mean, you've been picking against me, and i just been doing my thing. That's why I'm here. I'm, I won the first time on the first prediction, the second time, and now I'm here to defend the, the third title. As long as the Heat are winning, man, I'm looking good. LeBron's looking good. Everything's going well, and everybody's upset. And that's what we want to do in the world of sports right now, pissing people off. Okay, well, we got Oak City. We got Miami. Again, I've been saying this. We love this NBA basketball. Last year, you had Dallas. Dallas was unbelievable, won the NBA championship this year. They're not even in the equation. We just had an unbelievable seven-game series with the Heat and the Celts. Could have went either way. You had the overtime game in Miami. You had the game six where the Celtics stumbled, came out strong, and now head into South Beach, two great teams. And the thing you were talking about earlier is how deep are these teams, Kevin? How Man, deep? These teams, it's so deep. The talent in the NBA is just ridiculous. When you look at these teams from top to bottom, but more, more importantly, when you look at these, these, these two teams in the finals, the Thunder and the Heat, they both have, they have four like, potential All-NBA first-team players in Wade, Westbrook, Durant, and LeBron. Each and every one of them will see or has seen the first team before. But you got Harden and Bosch as third options. Are you kidding me? These guys, either one of them can put up 30 clutch baskets, double-doubles, be the man in the game at any given time, and they've both proven that. It's just ridiculous. So, it can be an unexpected Batman at any time. So, I, I really like that. Let's not forget Chalmers either. Somebody put a body on the guy. The guy's just going coast to coast, <laughs> dropping in, dro literally dropping in laps. I'm like, please, somebody cover this guy. Yeah, well, that's true. the Thunder, I mean, the Durantula hitting the big shots is yeah. unbelievable. James Harden had that one unbelievable pressure shot, mm -hmm. which is simply amazing. They have four totally legit superstars, a Baku with blocks like you can't believe. And this really is what I have to say. These are probably the best two teams. You know, and we got to go back to Lou Holtz because Lou Holtz did say, when you go back as far as 06 and you had the two strong, strong teams in the West, wind up just beating each other up. And next thing you know, you have the Mavericks and Heat. You know, I think the series before that went six or seven, and the Heat winds up winning a championship just because these guys, in a sense, had a slugfest, and everyone thought the winner was going to come out from the West. Mm -hmm. I think the same thing happened this year. You look at San Antonio, you look at Oak City, you look at the winner coming out of the West, and all of a sudden now Miami seems to be peaking. LeBron seems to totally have it all put together. Bosch is a little bit healthy again, dropping stuff in all of that. Chalmers, Battier. Uh, just Cole, I mean, they're just bringing guys up, and these guys are great players. It isn't really all about LeBron and Dwayne Wade. <laughs> I mean, these guys are all great players, but at the end of the day, I have to say it's all about LeBron James, man. He's the best player in the world, and when he puts that pressure on himself and he performs like the best player in the world, the Heat are pretty much unbeatable, man. When he, when, he, when he turns that light on to want to will his team to victory and he doesn't worry about anything on the outside and he's just going to go 100%, make it or miss it, he can do so many things on the basketball court. He can take the opposing player out of the game. He can dominate the boards. He's averaging 10-plus rebounds in the playoffs. He can hit 30. He can get you 10 assists when you want that. It's just so – and he just draws so much attention, so it's a lot of other gaps for guys like Chalmers. And he finds Bosch on those short jump shots, and he gets Wade to be able to be single cover. But then you look at it on the other end, man. Kevin Durant is is no slouch. For what he lacks of LeBron's defense, he he makes up in offense. Kevin Durant is the most complete offensive player in the sport, and it's just gonna be interesting. And like I said, I was telling you before before we started speaking that somebody, one of the big three on Oklahoma, or one of the big three in Miami, is gonna choke, and that's that's gonna cause them to not carry their burden on that end, and that's going to seesaw the matchup. And I'm pretty sure it's going to come on OKC's end and Miami will win the series. All right, so we're going to make our predictions. My prediction is basically Oak City in six. Okay, and if I'm wrong this time, I think from Steiner Sports, I'm going to have to give you that LeBron James basketball. Oh, yeah. Okay, have make a little presentation. Oh, yeah. 
when when the uh, finals are over. Oh yeah. And I think if Oak City wins, maybe you got to give me those beads you're sporting right now. <laughs> <laughs> this is a different type of swag, man. This is a winner swag right now. This is a win two blogs in a row swag. This is like the belt. <laughs> Okay. So, uh, All right, you got the LeBron ball. I got the beads. I'm going. Uh, that's a deal. I'm going Miami in nine. Miami, <laughs> Miami in uh. I want to go out on a limb and say five, but I'm gonna play it safe and I'm gonna say Miami in six. Okay. Right, Miami you got, in six. You got Miami in six. Yes. I got Oak City in six. LeBron's gonna get that ring, man. He's he's just determined, and. Mm -hmm. I really like it more importantly than my knowledge of basketball. Just the fact that if you've picked Oklahoma City tells me Miami's gonna win. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's a wrap up on the vlog and three peat guest. And the next time you see us, we're gonna be talking LeBron ball or beads. I'm gonna have LeBron rock in my hand. And anybody who wants to come on this blog after, the, the, any point during the series, they, if they want to pick the thunder, feel free to challenge. Okay, thanks.